Hi everyone, welcome to the video on changing appointment states. Um, we did this in class already, so this is just a review. Looking at Trina Sabarski's appointment at the top here on the left, you can see that there is a red exclamation mark on the right hand top corner of her appointment. Uh, this is showing that her appointment is unconfirmed. So they have not spoken to her and she has not confirmed that she will be attending. We can change those states um, in a couple different ways. We can actually right click the appointment and you can see that there is the ability to advance appointment state. So it would go from unconfirmed to a pre-confirmed. That would mean that you have talked to her approximately, you know, on average two weeks before her appointment. She has said, yes, I believe I can be there, but can you please give me another reminder call? Um, and so pre-confirm means you need to call again to actually confirm. Then you could advance to confirmed. Then you can advance to she's arrived in the office. Then you can advance to seated. Then she's waiting to be billed, billed, and then she's actually left the office. So you could actually do this also by um, actually just typing this arrow key on the keyboard or you could actually go to a menu with all of those options if you click on her appointment and you type V. And if you do that, a list is going to pop up and this is the list. Okay, so again, there's unconfirmed, pre-confirmed, confirmed, arrived, seated, waiting, billed, and departed. So once again, the exclamation mark means unconfirmed. Another way you can change the appointment state are these two buttons up on the top um, taskbar here. So the red check mark with the scheduler is confirm appointment. So that bypasses the pre-confirmed state. Um, you've called, they have said, absolutely, I'm coming. You can click this button and now you'll notice that the um, exclamation mark has been removed. If we still have the unconfirmed state and they've gone to pre-confirmed, you can actually click on this button here, which is the next appointment state. So it automatically changes it to pre-confirmed. Um, and this is what it looks like. You can see it's a yellow um, background with an exclamation mark. And the next appointment state, um, you could say is confirmed. So there's no symbol there. If you're looking at arrived, it is a green A or a green background. If you're looking at seated, it is an S with a blue background. If it, they are waiting to be billed, it is orange with a W. If they've been billed, but they're still in the office, it's gray with a B. And if they're all finished, then it's a D. Um, and you'll notice in the whole scheduler for everyone, um, all of these appointments are done and the client has left. Um, if you've made a mistake, you can always click the arrow and then you can come back and change it. Uh, the one great reason about looking at and seeing if this is a if the person's arrived is because if you're in the op and you are you know preparing for the next appointment you can see that the client is in the waiting room waiting for you so it's a great communication tool that can be used by all in the office and that's advancing the appointment states